we are inside my Heimar camper van and I want to show you what happened on my last trip. Here at the front there is no insulation. Between this cover and the roof itself there is no insulation at all. In our last trip it was very cold outside and we had the heating on. What happened next was that condensation started to build and this whole area water started to come down and hit the control panel on the back and started to come out here in this gap. All the LEDs started to go on off like crazy and after a couple minutes it went dead. I'm going to show you how it looks like behind the control panel. As you can see, behind the control panel there is no protection and it would be fine if there was insulation here on the inside, what's not the case. I'm going to show you now the inside. That is the connection for the exterior antenna. Pointing up to the right, to the left, and as you can see, there is no insulation whatsoever. The fact that there is no insulation, it will cause three problems. First of all, it's the back of the roof that will start to rust. Second, with the condensation started to drip, this cover will start to get soft and moldy and eventually it will start to smell also. Third, it's this control panel. This one was already replaced by the dealer and if we leave it as it is, it will happen again. I haven't been out in my camper van since my last trip, just because it's not suitable for winter use. With emails and calls to my dealer in the last couple of weeks, it looks like that Heimar is not interested or doesn't see this as a potential problem. I want to use the camper van all year round and not just two or three months in sunny Spain. I have no other choice than to solve this problem myself and unfortunately pay from my own pocket for the fitting of the roof insulation. I will report in a second video about the fitting of the roof insulation. Thanks for watching.